Hello and welcome to our Party for Freedom Benefit Concert to mark the launch of the Alliance Against Modern Slavery. Thank you very much to Samba Legua who really started, off, started us off with a bang this evening. Samba Legua is a nonprofit, volunteer run musical community. The band supports a range of community building, social justice, and activist causes in the Toronto area. We are very honored to have them here with us tonight. My name is Carly Saposnik, and I am the president, CEO, and co-founder of the Alliance Against Modern Slavery. Our vision at AAMS is to research, to educate, and to aid in partnership in order to end slavery in our local and global communities. We are a diverse, multicultural, multi-ethnic, and multilingual organization. I am very proud to say that together, our co-founders and executives speak over 14 languages and have traveled all seven co continents. All of us seek to raise awareness in innovative ways among all levels of society about modern slavery, which is arguably the most underpublicized human rights crisis of our time. Before we continue this evening, I would like to send regrets from two individuals who were set to speak. The first is survivor Tamia Nagy. She is unfortunately currently on a major rescue mission helping law enforcement, and so our thoughts are with her as she is on this operation. The second is Kevin Bales, who unfortunately due to a major snowstorm in Washington, D.C., was delayed and out of power, and so his flight was unable to depart on time, and he was unable to be here with us this evening. Both Kevin and Tamia send their regrets and also send us their encouragement and regards this evening. Speaking of encouragement and hope, who here has heard the song Amazing Grace? Everyone. <laughs> well, Amazing Grace is arguably the most sung, most recorded, and most loved hymn in the world. Many of you here tonight know this, perhaps some of you don't, but John Newton, the author of Amazing Grace, was a former slave ship captain who shipped over 20,000 20, African slaves to the Americas. Later, as an ordained clergyman, Newton realized that he once was blind, but now could see that the slave trade and slavery were wrong and must end. It is my pleasure to now call on Kate Todd, an AAMS, singer, songer, songwriter, and actress to sing a few verses of Amazing Grace for us this evening. Kate? It is a pleasure and also um, a deep honor to be able to perform this song tonight, Amazing Grace, about um, redemption and forgiveness. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. blind but now I see twas grace that taught my heart to fear and grace my fears relayed how precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed thank you
Thank you very much, Kate Todd. Perhaps the surest emblem of the transformation Newton alludes to in Amazing Grace is found in a town in Sierra Leone today where he once docked his slave ship, which is now named John Newton in his honor. It is now my honor and pleasure to introduce Roger Cram, who will be our MC for the evening. Roger Cram's research has taken him into the townships of South Africa and the rural villages of Nicaragua, researching grassroots heroes and their peaceful crisis management skills. He presented some of his findings at the Rotary World Peace Summit held in Windsor, Ontario, and has presented numerous workshops to the Department of Defense and the United States Air Force. Roger has appeared in People Magazine, on ABC Good Morning America, on CC CNN News, and the Discovery Channel. He was married in 2011 on New Year's Day, and Roger and his wife Mel, who is here in the audience with us this evening, plan to dedicate the rest of their lives to combating human trafficking. Ladies and gentlemen, Roger Cram. Thank you, Carly. I come from a small liberal art college in the rolling hills of Ohio. It's surrounded by dairy farms and has about 1,100 students. Is that about the size of York? <laughs> That's what I'm used to teaching. And 15 years ago, I started researching world heroes of peace, and not what they did, but I wanted to learn how they did what they did. I was looking for a common thread of values that was based on the majority of magnificent people performing magnificently. What values did they use to make their critical decisions under crisis management? Well, I found 14 common values that were repeated again and again and again. And I found this to be true whether the world hero was male or female, regardless of the culture, regardless of the age, the religion, or the financial status. So we developed a matrix on how world heroes solve their problems. And you can take your problems and plug them in this matrix. And it forces you to use their values. It forces you to use their methodology. And I've been teaching this in workshops to the United States Air Force and Department of Defense and to other colleges and universities. And then I started researching a gentleman called Kevin Bales. What he does is most remarkable. And I wanted to apply these values and heroes problem solving methodologies to human trafficking. And so we started a course at Hiram College on human trafficking. And the lady that I was dating, Mel, for two and a half years, I asked her to marry me and to spend the rest of our life fighting human trafficking. That's quite a proposal. <laughs> she said yes, she would marry me. And for the next three or four months, we studied human trafficking and took her to various symposiums so she knew what she was getting into. We've now been married 28 days, and the rest of our career will be spent during this noble cause. Mel, can you stand up? It's my pleasure now to introduce to you a video entitled, Slavery, Past and Present. The Alliance Against Modern Slavery documentary filmmaker, Ajra Rashid, and the president and CEO and co-founder, whom you just met, Carly Saponznik, interviewed many, many people about slavery past and present, 
all experts on the subject. The goals of this mini documentary entitled Slavery Past and Present, which will be shown for the first time tonight, are as follows. To demonstrate the longevity of slavery, the plethora of manifestations that it has, its similarities and differences across time and space,